Hello everyone, welcome back to Origami Canada. Today I'll be showing you how to make a cute squirrel. You always see them around in the fall time. Let's get started. So first you need a square sheet of paper like this. We're going to fold it diagonally first, like this. We're going to open it and fold it this way as well. So we're making a cross in the middle like we always do. Next, we're going to turn to the back and fold it horizontally into a rectangle. If you've watched my videos before, you'd be pretty familiar with this process. We're doing this another time, so we form a British flag pattern in the middle, like so. And then we're gonna form the square base. So we're gonna fold the corners towards one corner using existing creases. And we're gonna collapse it into a square base. Feel free to watch this part um, again and again to familiarize yourself with this step. And then we're going to do the crane base. Um, so again, we have the open end and a closed end. So we want this open end to be facing towards ourself. We're going to fold these open edges towards the middle line here, like this. So two on one side and then flip to the back, two on the back as well. Just use your nails to kind of scratch these folds to make sure they're leaving a crease. We're gonna open up these folds and we're just going to do a reverse fold from these creases. So again, we kind of open this pocket and then this crease that we just formed, we're gonna just push them in like this. Like this, it's gonna be a pointy corner and then we just fold this part back down. So we essentially, we just pushed this part in like this. Again, same thing on the back. I'm gonna push this part in just with the existing crease we had. Again, this side as well. Push this part in. And make sure your tip is relatively sharp, like that. And then we can flatten the whole model. The model looks like this. Now this step can be quite challenging, so I advise you to please wash carefully. So we want to fold down this triangle first, uh, right towards like the either corners. And then we want to fold down this tip towards the baseline here, like this. Make sure you really crease this crease. Uh, we're going to open it and just crease this crease on the back side as well, just to make sure the crease is really pronounced like that. Next, we're going to do what we call an open sink. And I think this is probably the hardest step of this model. Um, we're going to kind of open everything up like this. And you see how this crease you just folded is a square pattern kind of from the top. We're gonna make sure that we push this square to in square in like this, and then we want to collapse everything together. Just slowly, like this. Yeah, I'll show you one more time. So essentially, what it looks like is that you pushed in this corner from the top. I'll show you one more time. So I'm going to recover it back to where it was. So again, our model was like this. Um, and essentially what we did was we just opened everything up and then push this in, in reverse, the square in, in reverse so that when we put it back together, it looks like this whole part just got pushed down. So, Watch that step a couple of times and you'll get the hang of it the more you practice. So then we have four even layers. We're just going to hide these corners uh, towards the side layer. So just hold them back, connecting the midpoint and the side. 
Um, same thing here. And then just fold these two back together. Same thing on the left side. I'm going to just base off of the middle and the side corner. And then this part as well. And then you fold it back. So then all of these layers are hidden on the side like this. So now what we're going to do is fold the front flap up as well as the back flap like this. And then the middle is the little obtuse triangle we had. And we're going to fold a rabbit ear structure based off of this. So what we do is we fold the, um, the layer down towards the horizontal like this, open it back. And then the other side, the, the, right, the right edge towards the horizontal. And then what we do is we uh, halfway pinch the middle. We just fold the middle in half and then bring these two creases together. Uh, and then just fold this thing to the right or to the left. I'll just keep it to the right for consistency. But this is essentially the rabbit ear structure for those of you that aren't familiar with it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the back. So left line up, right side line up with like this line, as I said, and then pinch the middle. Bring this to you know the same side as the other one. And then we turn to the front, have both on the left side, I mean on the right side. So now what we do is we go to the side and we put uh, these layers straight up, you know, as high as you can go, like this. And then we go to this part and we fold this layer straight up as well, just as high as you can go. So then instead of having the uh, model like this, which we had after we did the rabbit ear structure, these two structures, um, our model should look like this. So I was just telling you to go to the side, bring this leg up through the middle like that. Same thing here. Go to the side, bring this part up to the middle. So now we have a structure with two rabbit ears like this, and then just two side flaps that we flip to the top. And now what we need to do is take the left side flap and just do a reverse fold. Um, kind of lining up the middle edge here with the base here. And I'll show you what I mean. So just kind of open the left layer and then fold a line from the base here out. So then the middle part will line up with the bottom part like this. Like that. And then this part too, you just fold it back in. So I'll show you what, what it looks like again. So we had this, just folded this part down like that. So it's just a reverse fold. Okay, and then we're gonna make the forearms of the squirrel. So we're just going to uh, shift this part down, this part, and then push a triangle like this. Maybe one more time. So we went from this, just bring this part down a little bit and then fold like an isosceles triangle like that. One more time, down, flatten the triangle. Same thing on the back. So this part, we're gonna fold it down and then this part, we're gonna squeeze a triangle. So after you're done both of the forearms, we're going to um, watch this line here, like the base of the triangle of the forearm, we're just gonna do a reverse fold backwards like that. And then we'll do a reverse fold based on this one. Like this. Make sure they line up from the back like that. Make sure the top here is sharp. Um, and then what we do is we fold alongside the base, just, just the fold and then open up the back pocket to flatten it into something like this. And then we're just gonna fold this part to the back and then wrap this whole part to the front like this. 
Here, I'll show you one more time. So we have this, and we're just gonna do an outside reverse fold to make the head show like this. You can watch, um, you can watch this part a bit more times to understand what went on. Um, and then you just wanna open up the head a little bit. So you don't want the head to look so skinny like that. A squirrel should be kind of chubby. So we just wanna expand the bottom of the head by going inside and reaching out this layer like that and then this sharp part we're just gonna hold it back in like this so the head is more rounded and obviously this front part is too sharp as well so we're just gonna do an inside reverse fold to make it like more flat and more rounded like a squirrel and then you can kind of make the ears pop out a little bit more and then for the forearms, you can squeeze it backwards in half a little and then curl it to the front. That's always what I like to do with these animal forearms, like a T-Rex forearm or something. Like this. So now we're gonna work on the leg. So basically you just open up a pocket from the front and then fold the leg to the front like this. And then do a little rabbit ear backwards like that, I'll show you. So you can kind of do it from the back, just squeeze those layers together and then put the rabbit ear kind of behind the leg, the thigh. And then just fold this rabbit ear thing back, leave it a little bit of ridge here. Um, kind of like how the leg bends of a kangaroo. And then we're gonna repeat the process on the back. So open up the front, uh, form a little rhombus shape here and then just squeeze the leg in half and then form a little rabbit ear that allows this part to go behind the thigh and then again fold it to the front I just want to make the two legs symmetrical so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit that seems good enough Those are the legs of the squirrel. So after we're done with the hind legs, we can shape them a little bit, make them more symmetrical like this. We're gonna work on the tail. So what we're gonna do for the tail is we're gonna wrap it around this edge at the back like this. And then we're gonna pull the tail back, but leaving a little bit of gap here. You don't wanna pull it all the way back. You want to leave a little bit of gap and also stretch out the hind layers like this. So let me grab this one as well. Just be careful to not rip the paper when you're pulling it like this. And then see how I left a little bit of ridge here? That's how you're going to make the tail 3D. And you can always you know, make some folds here and there to bend the tail down. Make it look more like a squirrel, but that's just shaping. So again, this will make the, 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 the squirrel tail look more fluffy, basically. And now the last step is just to fold in this triangle to kind of lock that tail shape in place. So fold in one on this side and then one on the other. And they should kind of overlap like this. You know, and then just do some final shaping. That's it for the squirrel. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And don't forget to subscribe. Amazing squirrel models. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.